Welcome back to the Project Return Online Classroom. I'm Miss Celia and I'm very excited to be back with a brand new video for you guys today. Today is June 29th, which is National Camera Day. National Camera Day is an opportunity for us to reflect on the history of the camera, something so frivolous that we now take for granted, and learn about its history and also ways that we can use cameras to make our experiences better. The history of the camera is quite interesting, actually. The original camera is called a camera obscura. It is referred to as a pinhole image because a well-lit scene would be reflected through a very small hole in a screen and projected inverted. Inverted means that it is projected upside down and mirrored. Uh, this is actually very similar to how the human eye works. When we perceive the world around us, we actually perceive the information upside down and mirrored. And when our brain is processing, we then flip it. And that's how we perceive the world around us. So light is projected into our pupils, which is a very small hole in the center of our eye, and works the same way that the camera obscura worked. After this, there was the creation of the photographic camera. Thomas Wedgwood was an inventor uh, between the 18th and 20th century. Not so sure on a time for him, but somewhere around there. Um, he used the element silver, and he learned that silver actually changes colors when exposed to different amounts of light. He used this to make prints of leaves or bird wings or insect wings, but they never really stuck around for too long. But that would be the basis of black light photographs and ultimately the modern camera we have today. Inventors from all over the world in the past hundreds of years have worked to improve the camera and create what is now the modern digital camera. Even just in the last 50 years, we've had so much progress with the development of the camera. We come from instant Polaroid cameras to little disposable cameras that we remember from the 90s and 2000s. And then we grew up and then we had digital. And now we have these tiny, tiny little cameras in our phones that have the highest quality that we've ever seen. Uh, we can even go beyond photographs now and record video, and without the development of this video camera, there would be no TV shows, there would be no YouTube channels, like me, hello, no movies, um, there would be no FaceTime, no Instagram, and more importantly, no Project Return Online Classroom. No Project Return Online Classroom. No Project Return Online Classroom. So I am very thankful for the development of the camera. I don't know about you. Now, on National Camera Day, I do have a few ideas that you can go ahead and have some fun with if you want to go outside and take some pictures. Uh, spend time doing some crafts with your family and friends and photograph your finished results. Take a walk and take a picture of the sky. Maybe go out at sunset or sunrise and snap a few photos. Take some pictures of some flowers, some plants, or some birds, or just the nature around you. Uh, take a picture of your favorite pet or animal that you have, or simply draw something and photograph it. Or if you wanted to keep some memories on you for a long time that you'll never forget, photo take a picture of your favorite event. For example, come in a project return and come take some pictures with us. We'd love to see you here. All right, guys, that is it for my video on National Camera Day. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I will see you back here tomorrow on the Project Return Online Classroom. Bye, guys.